Africa, Yakima, how are you and welcome. My name is Lionel, I'm a good Samara, Stray Wrong, Bunch Along Man. I'd like to welcome you here today. We're going to do a cleansing for World Wide Wellness Weekend. Wide World Wellness Weekend. We're going to do a cleansing. I'm going to put some smoke in the fire. We're going to put some smoke out there. We're going to cleanse the whole world. There's been a lot of stress going on lately. And um, now this year, from that off week, our symbol for this week, our theme is to heal. To heal the country, to heal the world. That's what we're here to do today. Spread out the healing energy. So I'm going to do a cleansing ceremony. Here on this country, I to pay my respects to the traditional owners of the land on which I stand, the elders past and present. Now we're going to do a cleansing ceremony. The three plants to be used in this smoking ceremony. The first one is the eucalypt. This particular one is the managa, Koala's favourite tree. This tree holds sap, which we use for, particularly for cordial. We use the flowers for cordial. We use the wood for artefacts and tool making and the leaves contain oils which we use for medicine. This medicine traditionally, we'd have a fire going on our clay ball. The fire burns right down, our clay balls hold a lot of heat. We'll get our gum leaves, our eucalypt soaked in water. We put them all over top of those hot clay balls. They start to heat up and release their oils. The person who is sick will sit down on top of those leaves. We go cover them up in a big bottom cloak, like a big blanket, and they stay there to the medicine man says it's time to come out. All the oil from those leaves goes right through your recipient system and then right through all the pores in your body. We use this medicine for headaches, for migraines, for depression, for anxiety, and for stress, and for fever. So, the Managum, eucalypt, this plant here represents community. You often see elders handing leaves out to people walking them to their country, or women dipping these leaves in water and splashing the water on you for water blessing. Next is the cherry balan. This tree is a tool tree, a medicine tree, as well as a bush bucket plant. The stone fruit on this plant comes up about a month and a half. So this plant will be covered in these little beautiful red um, cherries. It's the only stone fruit that we know of in the world where the stone grows on the outside of the fruit instead of the middle. So another month and a half, it's going to be covered in all these beautiful red cherries. We grab the stone, we throw that away. And we eat the beautiful red cherry. Antioxidants, vitamin C, really good for you. The wood for this particular tree is one of our favourite woods for making artefacts. It's an incredible tool tree. The spears, the nullanullas, the woomera, um, nullanullas, all the woods are artefacts. It's an incredible wood. Super, super hard wood to work with. For the first year of its life, this tree will connect its root system to another big tree. That big tree will help this tree survive to a certain age. Once it gets big and strong enough, it can defend for itself. So that is why this tree represents children. Now as a medicinal plant, I look into a lot of medicines all over Australia. This particular plant, Cherry Balak, represents children. The last but not least is the Acacias, our black wattle. Very important tree. The bark on this particular tree is medicine bark. If I take the bark from the tree, I boil it up, I make a medicinal tea from it and I drink that tea. This is medicine for my stomach and for my mouth. If I have ulcers or other wounds in my body, this is the medicine that I use for that. The sap on this tree is an edible sap. We can also make a jelly from it. These leaves on this tree, I grab these leaves and I take these down to a water system, a creek. I rub the leaves into the water. It takes the oxygen out of the water and it makes the fish go to sleep. It doesn't hurt the fish, the fish go to sleep and then I can go in and catch the separate fish I like. This tree contains two different varieties of whiskey grub. One variety lives in the trunk, which is the beetle larvae, and in the roots we have the moth larvae. We would never hurt a tree except for one feed. The gut to get the whiskey grub out of the tree, you would not get an axe and cut them out. You get a long thin stick with a hook in the end of it, you poke it into the tree, you pull them out, and that's how we get our whiskey grub without harming the tree. The trees to us are sacred, especially the acacia. This tree has so many different uses. It represents our elders and our grandparents. I'm going to put these three plants on the fire. They will produce a medicine smoke. This smoke I will send out to the whole world, to cleanse the whole world. So hopefully you all get some. Go outside and take a big deep breath and get some of this smoke in on you.
we use this smoke to get rid of negative energy. Didn't leave it coming into my country. I will smoke you with certain plants. This smoke will let my, my people know, will let the spirits of the land know, and the animals and the fauna know that you're being smoked and welcome to our country, so you're not carrying negative energy. Right there. I hope you go a couple of bit of that. do a meditation. So on my walk, what I do, I take people walking on country, I show you country through my eyes and everything has a purpose. And then I sit you down, the most important thing I can teach you is to listen. Listen to yourself, listen to your friends, listen to your family, listen when you cross the road, listen you might learn something. So we don't do that through meditation. My grandfather's son is putting on a beautiful show for us today, he's coming up over the hill here. Sorry we can't show you, it's very windy up on top of that hill. So we're down a bit of a valley. The grandfather's son is coming up to put a beautiful show for us today. Beneath us right now, we've been nurtured by our beautiful mother, Mother Earth, as all mothers do, they nurture us. All that beautiful geology beneath us. And in between, we have the wind and all the fauna and all the flora. It's all positive energy. So when you're sitting there, you can either be inside or you can go sit outside somewhere. Connect to the beautiful energies around you. Think about Mother Earth beneath you, nurturing you, all that beautiful positive energy. Grandfather Sun, that beautiful stress, that beautiful warmth that he gives us. Let us feel safe. And all the beautiful fauna and flora. And as we take a deep breath in, picture all that positive energy coming to your body. From above, from grandfather, from beneath, from mother, and from mother nature in between. Then hold that deep breath. And then when we exhale, we're going to exhale all the negatives which we hold in our body. With our stomach, we abuse our stomach. We hold a lot of stress, we hold uh, trauma, alcohol, drugs, bad food. We put it all into our stomach. Big stress you deal with is in your face. Little stress we don't deal with so much. We think we push it to the side, but we don't. It could be the husband, it could be the wife, it could be the kids. Something on the head, it could be COVID. All that stress we put into our stomach. After a few months, our stomach gets full. Once it gets full, we get very tired. We have no energy or we get sick very easily, or you get very grumpy. Has anyone ever woken up in a bad mood or hold a lot of anger? You don't know why? It's because we're holding on to negative energy, and we have to learn to release those negative energy. We do that through breathing. So we breathe in the positive energy, we hold that, and then we exhale the negative from our stomach. They'll hit the air, and they'll disperse the muscle with positive wind. Now this is my Unikey. I'm going to play this for a few minutes at the start to lead you into the meditation. And then I'm going to stop. We'll have silence of listening. Just listen to Mother Nature. Here I'm lucky I can listen to the beautiful ocean. I have the wind and we have some of the birds in the background. Hopefully you have something like that at home as well. So when you close your eyes, think positive thoughts. Bring your attention to the that you want to release your body of negative energy. Remember our bodies are our temple. No one can tell us what to do with our bodies. So if we don't want something about it, negative energy, we tell us to leave. We never ask us to leave, we tell us to leave. So, when you're sitting there, positive energy, breathe it in, hold it, and then release those negative energy. So, I'm going to play this for a couple of minutes now. We're going to have silence, just listening to Mother Nature. And then, when I'm finished, I'll play this again the second time. When I'm finished playing the second time, we need to slowly come out of the meditation. Just remember, you take those last few deep breaths with intention of healing to release those negative energy. 
Have you already? Thank you.
back.